I'm Carla Peake, I'm with the Centre for Rural Health and my role is to support students when they do their clinical placements in rural Tasmania. We consider anything outside of Hobart and Launceston as being rural. Once their placement is confirmed, they are advised by email and they are given my contact details. However, I never wait for the students to contact me. I get in there straight away. I'll send them an email, I'll introduce myself and I will provide an overview of what sort of support we can offer them. And that's basically accommodation. We have houses and units and a range of properties right across the state in 20 different locations. And I can also support them with some financial assistance. They don't have to pay for the accommodation, it's free of charge. Unfortunately, that doesn't mean that we can accommodate every student because we do have places like the Trobe, which get very, very busy. It's very, very important that they book as soon as possible. And we have an accommodation booking system. You just follow the link, they put their student ID numbers in, their contact details, their email address, where they're going, when they want to arrive, when they want to leave. They press the button and then I will confirm it as soon as possible. There are other students there at the same time. They're not going to be out there all on their own. All the accommodation is offered on a shared basis. So there will be shared areas like lounge room, cooking facilities, kitchens, laundry, etc. It's close to where they'll be doing their placements. In some instances, it's actually on site at the health centre. So it's right there at the hospital, no need to travel, no need for transport. Students going to the Bass Strait Islands, understandably, are a little bit concerned about the cost of getting there, but that's something that the Centre for Rural Health does, which is provide them with one return airfare to the islands for their placement. We do do our best with internet services. We have plenty of data available for them. I have a Facebook page for students who go and stay at our accommodation. Every site has its benefits. As much as possible, we'd like it to be a home away from home. I'd like to think that I'm quite approachable. I try to finish all my emails with um, an invitation for them to contact me if they've got any questions whatsoever about the accommodation.